Hello, my name is Onisa, and we are back at it with some more Minecraft. So, I guess the last time we were just putting a bunch of lights in here. I've done a little bit more digging, a little bit more getting everything set up, and I'll kind of show you what I have so far. Of course, we lit up the whole area, made sure it's nice and bright looking, and I even went ahead and added, you know, some wall structures. Of course, we have this area down here that has this glass wall in it. And I even expanded it all, all the way down here. And then I added a few little things. Like we have this cute little room over here. And there's a little glass floor. I don't know what this is going to be. I have honestly no idea. And this takes you up here. I even have this uh, glass area up here at the top. And you can kind of see it right here. Yeah. And pretty much what I've done so far is I've just mostly dug it out. I mean, really, that's that's really it. I, I, I dug it out. I don't know what it's going to be yet. I don't know how it's going to look, but it's ready for when I know what I want to do with it. And then I was thinking, Dave can be in this little cubby hole here. And I was wondering the what what is going to be the best way of keeping Dave safe. I'm not too worried about a lot of people coming in and like, zerging him because I do have a way of turning off mob killing in this area where no one can kill like aggressive mobs but the problem is Dave would still hit people if they got too close and the thing that I'm worried about is if people have thorns on their armor he might he might not make it so I want to kind of prevent that I'm thinking let's plug up these waterfalls for now let me get some blocks so that way I can tell exactly where the waterfall is going to fall. This is why I have my sheep farm. Oh, the blue is like all the way down here. So I think we'll go with the light blue option. And we'll just... I don't think we'll need more than a stack. Where the water falls is going to be here. Ooh, here. And then here, 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 and then there, and then here the waterfall is falling pretty much right here, there, there, yeah. And then we'll go ahead and block the waterfalls up. We'll just use the same wool, that way we know exactly what blocks need to be removed. There we go, and then there's this one over here. That worked out pretty well. Dave. We're thinking about Dave right now. So how to keep Dave safe. I was thinking a good option would be is kind of have them in this little cubby hole here. There's not really a way to kind of get in here besides from this opening. So what I was thinking is doing kind of like a really tall archway. And having it be kind of like closed off, kind of like how you would see like those medieval gates where it's just like a really tall arch and then you have the fence kind of with it closed off there. So the question is, is how big do I want to make this archway? I had to go in and remove a lot of these vines because they are just, they just grow like crazy. I'm going to have to do something Maybe put some string underneath of that. I don't know if that's still an option, but just something to stop it from growing because these things will just grow until they hit the ground. Like these over here. I have broken these vines so many times. So when I do regrow them, I just need to make sure that they regrow with these, you know, glow berries. That way, everything will be lit up. Yes. And we'll get rid of these here. So these are kind of kind of in the way. And a lot of them don't have glow berries on them. I don't know. I wonder if I can bow meal them to get glow berries to grow. Or if that just makes them grow longer. Not too sure, honestly. And I want to get rid of any kind of vine that Dave might be able to climb down on. Just in the off chance that he climbs, you know on it and then takes fall damage like these finds down here aren't too terrible of a problem so the question is is where do i want 
this archway to be and how big do I want it? Do I want it the entire size of this or do I want it like a smaller archway? I definitely want it bigger because I don't know if I want to just do glass and have it glassed off or if I just want to do the standard fences. So I guess let's just let's just start building and we'll see kind of where we go from here. I'm thinking right here would be a really nice start to the archway. And I need to find a center point where we want the center to be. Actually, mm, do I want this box to be the center or that box? So the center will be like right there, I'm thinking. And then we will. Do I want to go another or do I just, I think I'll just go straight down from here. Okay, so this will kind of conflict with a little bit of the waterfall, but I don't think it'll be too big of a waterfall issue, just because I think most of it is just going to go down the front of it. So we may end up seeing this block move over to here, which is fine. Hmm, now this shape isn't too bad. It looks, it looks okay. So what we'll do is we will bring this out one more, I think. Okay, so that's looking pretty decent. After a bit of trial and error, I think I'm going to go with this for now. I might change it later, but I think for right now I'll go with this. So then the next step is I need to get some blocks put up behind here. And I think the deep slate bricks are really going to be the best option for this. Just because of the contrast, and then it kind of blends in with the background there a little bit. So I think that'll end up working out best. And then let's go ahead and just fill this in here. Now I don't know if I want it to be kind of curved. Actually, I kind of do. Let's, let's do it curved and see how that works. So like one there, one there. We'll do one here. And like right there. Oh, I think I just... No! What have I done? I must fix it with deep slate. Did I ruin it over here too? Yeah. So I'll just go ahead and close this off just like this. Oops. Okay, that's not looking bad. So let's do the same thing over here. So I think that's going to work pretty well. And then I'll come behind here. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of those. And then we'll just finish this off over here. Now we have it closed off and we have like a big archway here. I know we are definitely going to have to remove these torches. They do not look good, but I just wanted the area kind of lit up a little bit. So that way we could kind of see what was going on, see what we were working with a little bit easier. And then also we need to clear out this area so that way we can get it ready for, for Dave. We're going to get rid of all of this. Okay, so I feel like 
if we are going to have a little house in this little cubby, we want to make it good for Dave. We want Dave to feel like he's comfortable at home. And I feel like if you're building in a cave somewhere, you're probably going to use jungle wood. Maybe. And maybe I can even get him like a little farm area for his chicken. And then I even found this little cubby over here. Which I don't know if we're going to utilize this or not. Because I don't know if... Dave needs a little cubby, so we're just gonna we're just gonna block this off for right now because he don't he don't need it he don't need it. I want the best placement for this house for Dave, so that way it's a little bit in the middle, a little bit off to the side. I'm thinking. Let's see. Let's put the floor in here. We'll give him some nice stone floors. What do you think? This too small? Might be. Hmm. No, that looks... That looks okay. My only concern is the roof. However, we're going to make it look. And with this, we could probably have a farm over here to the side. And then we could probably make this back area a little bit bigger for him. Maybe bring it out a little bit more up front here. Maybe even give him like a little, little porch area. Do this. Make it a little bit wider. And we'll have to make sure to leave the door open for him so that way he doesn't struggle getting in and out. That or we could just have it be like an open concept home. That's okay too. Nothing wrong with that. Oh. And I'm probably going to run out of stone before I get finished here. Hmm. Okay, and I'm thinking he might even be able to have like a little pathway up over here. I mean, that might be too much. We'll have to see. Okay, that's not looking too bad. So now we have to figure out what we want to do with the roof and exactly where we're going to use these jungle logs. Uh, maybe we can use these jungle logs right here. Just put it up. Have it be like a little stabilizer. Listen, I know I'm putting a lot of work into this for something that other people probably aren't going to see because it's going to be locked up behind doors. But listen, Dave is going to see it, and Dave matters. So I want to make sure Dave likes it. I mean, I could have like a little lake back here. That would be super cute. Have like a little pond. Should I kind of like that? And let's see, the pond could be like... Like that? And then we'll even have a waterfall. Um, there. Let's see. Do I have water? I do. That works. I'll have to put some type of lighting over here. Probably some more of those little... I mean, that or we can just hang some of these glow berries down. Hmm. So let's go ahead build this up one more. And then we'll get started on the roof and the ceiling for this bad boy. And then let's see how we're going to do the roof, because I don't know if I want like a normal kind of pointy roof, or if I want like a curved roof, or if I kind of want like a flatter roof. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill that bat. It just kind of got in my way. On accident. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it really just has to look good from the front. Oh no, I got a bat head from that bat I accidentally smacked with my pickaxe. That won't work either. 
Listen, you guys, just know that I'm no bueno at making roofs. Let's just do an open concept house. I think that'll be best for him. Because he doesn't need doors. He can look out of his little area here if he ever wants to go swimming. He doesn't need anything fancy. Because you know what? That's just how Dave is. Dave is just chill. He's a chill zombie dude. Hmm question is, is how chill is Dave? This one closed off. I mean, it's starting to come together. Do I want to do this over here? Yeah, that's okay. Hmm. Go ahead and get rid of these real quick. And we'll just get most of these placed here. That'll be something that we'll get rid of some of these fence posts. And then we'll light up his area really nice. And then after that, the only thing that we'll have left to do is just move him in here. I think that'll be the, <laughs> the hardest part. Because I want to make sure to move him here without getting him uh, hurt. Okay, so we'll do this for right now. That actually looks pretty decent, I think. Yeah. And then once we kind of turn this over and get the waterfall going, I don't know how that's going to look. Hopefully okay. Do I have any more clay? Okay. So I don't think I'll move Dave in yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this place off. I'm going to make it look good. And then I'll move Dave in. Okay, so I think we have it. I have this little opening here just so I can go in and out. But Dave isn't in here yet. But we went ahead and we uh we kind of we, we did him up good. We got some we got some food for him. Uh we got his you know, we got him a chicken friend. I named him Frank. Friend, not brains. That way that way he knows. We got a little water feature here, which uh which needs a little bit more light, I think. Just go ahead and put that there. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you in the water? Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Oh, no. Okay. I need... Give me some seeds. Come here. Come here. Come here, little chicken. Come here. So it's um quite apparent that I'm going to need some kind of prevention to stop the chicken from going in the water. I mean, that kind of works, right? Make sure it doesn't get in on this side. Just, uh, put this here. There we go. Where'd that bush go? And then we can... No, I don't think we can put the bush back. We'll put the bush over here. No, we'll put it right here. Yeah. Okay. So, I have put string under a lot of these glow vines here. Just to kind of keep them where they're at. You can't really tell unless you're looking for it. Because you're just like, hey... The glow vines, they've kind of stopped growing. But if you really look for it, you can you can see it. 
Like I said, it would be super cool if there was a way that you could just like singe the edges. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe a new tool. Maybe you can use, I don't know, like flint and steel. It's it's really a toss up. It's hard to say. Oh, wait, actually, let's see what it looks like with the waterfalls taken out here. All right, let's see. Does it take up too much space? Yeah, I think I think it kind of does. Let's see. I wonder if there's a way that maybe we can divert some of that water. So that way it goes more kind of on the side. Have that open that way kind of lets it flow. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, and then I can actually just open this back up because that's just going to fall straight down, I think. Yeah, perfect. And then that will allow the water to mostly just fall like that. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and call it there. We're going to move Dave in later. I don't know exactly when later, but we will we'll make an official Dave moving in to his new home video and probably have to make sure that that's all nicely sealed off so that way nothing happens. Nobody accidentally breaks into it. I don't accidentally break into it. So what I'll do is I'll probably just kind of go through the layers here and just dig underneath and just outline it with some kind of brick or obsidian. I'll probably just use like stone brick. That's the normal go-to, because that one's the, uh, hey, this is stone brick, don't break it. So, if you're watching, thanks for watching. I hope that you guys have a good day today. Goodbye!